Today, we're going to talk about middleware and Next.js. So middleware runs a code before a request is complete, and this lets you tweak the responses. So you can rewrite or redirect, you can change headers, or you can reply right away. But to truly leverage middleware's power, it's important to understand not only what it is, but when it should, and equally as important, should not be used. And so in today's video, we're going to cover just that. So let's start by reviewing scenarios where middleware offers a good solution, and we'll begin with authentication and authorization. When using middleware for auth, it serves as an important first layer. So it runs security checks at the network's edge before requests even reach your server. And by verifying users early on, it not only speeds up the process, but it also lightens the server's load. Another good scenario to use middleware in is for server-side redirects. This way, redirects are processed before reaching the server, saving processing time and resources. Now, with rewriting paths, the advantage of middleware lies in its ability to dynamically alter request paths without additional server-side computation or client-side rerouting. This means faster transitions with minimal performance impact, which is hard to do without middleware. Now, middleware is also ideal for logging and analytics. It captures data right in the request path offering real-time insights with little extra load. And then lastly, middleware is perfect for managing feature flags because it can turn features on or off early before they reach the backend logic or front-end rendering. Now, in each of these scenarios, middleware doesn't just do the job, but oftentimes it's more efficient, secure, and scalable than other approaches. So now that we've touched on some scenarios where using middleware would be beneficial, it's equally important to understand when not to use it. So it's important to remember that middleware is designed to be fast and lightweight. It has a limit on how much you can do within each function. So with this in mind, let's explore some situations where you might want to pause and consider a different approach. So you should avoid using middleware when dealing with complex data fetching and manipulation, as well as for heavy computational tasks, such as intense calculations or tasks that take a long time to complete, which can really bring down your app's performance. While middleware can handle the basics of session management, you should avoid doing any extensive session management where you're tracking user sessions with lots of updates or complex logic. And finally, for direct database operations, like directly talking to your database within middleware, you should think twice about using it. Remember, middleware runs before every request with a matched route. So if you do something in middleware that takes a non-trivial amount of time, that's time that will block your user from receiving a response. This means they'll be blocked from seeing the page they requested. For all these scenarios, it's safer, smarter, and more efficient to handle these interactions within dedicated route handlers or server-side setups. And as a side note, we're looking at the Next.js docs, which I'll link in the description below if you want to dive a little bit deeper. So now that we know when we should and should not use middleware, let's dive a little bit deeper into how it works and how to use it. So we've already kind of covered that it's a tool for developers to catch, change, and control how requests and responses move through the app. So think of it as a checkpoint where you can run code before a request finishes. With middleware, you can change the request URL, redirect to another URL, tweak cookies and headers, or even send a response straight from middleware, like showing a page. So to use middleware in your Next.js project, all you need to do is add a middleware.ts file at the root of your project and export a function like this. So this function is triggered for every route, so it affects your entire application, and it acts as a checkpoint, adjusts your requests and responses as required. You can use matchers to specify which routes or scenarios it should apply to, and this allows you to precisely target or exclude specific routes. So that's as deep as I'm going to get into middleware in this video. It's a powerful tool, perfect for many tasks, but not all, and knowing when to and when not to use it can make a huge difference in your app. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.